This is the International Space Station, or ISS for short. It's been continuously occupied since November of 2000. The station is divided into two sections, the Russian orbital segment operated by Russia, while the United States orbital segment is run by the United States as well as by some other countries. Countries have cooperated very well with each other over the past two decades, but the ISS status is recently experiencing much turmoil due to the Soyuz leak two times in two months. More stress will come this week as in just a short period of time, SpaceX Dragon will dock to the ISS with astronauts while the Soyuz is empty to rescue the MS-22 crew. We'll talk about all of this in today's episode of Alpha Tech. First off, in important news, one leaky Russian space station ship burned up over the Pacific Ocean last week. The Progress MS-21 cargo ship undocked from the space-facing Poisk module on the Russian segment of the space station. That was at 9.26 p.m. Eastern Standard on Friday. That's 0226 GMT Saturday. And that's keeping a departure date that's been set for months. But the routine undocking took special significance after the Progress MS-21 cargo ship suddenly leaked coolant last Saturday, February 11th, soon after the docking of a fresh Progress resupply spacecraft to a different port on the space station. The timing of the leak soon after the docking of another Progress supply ship was presumably a coincidence, but it was the second time in less than two months that a Russian spacecraft suddenly lost coolant fluid while docked at the International Research Complex. Russia's Soyuz MS-22 crew ferry ship leaked coolant in December. That was an incident that Russian space agency officials previously blamed on likely high-speed impact from a micrometeoroid, or a tiny fragment of rock from deep space. Russian engineers continue analyzing the cause of the coolant leak on the unpiloted Progress MS-21 cargo ship and officials have not said whether both leaks were caused by the same failure or if both spaceships suffered untimely hits by space junk or micrometeoroids. The coolant on both vehicles is used to dissipate heat generated by internal spacecraft electronics, and it maintains comfortable operating temperature for the computers, the cargo, and of course the people inside. The reason for the coolant link is continuing to be investigated between our NASA specialist and Roscosmos counterparts, according to Jeff Arend, the manager of the ISS System Engineering and Integration Office at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. Quote, an inspection was completed earlier this week using the Canada Arm 2 to gather imagery of the suspected area, and the teams are evaluating that imagery, end quote. Once the Progress spacecraft backed away from the space station, Russian cosmonauts sent commands to the supply ship to rotate the orientation about 180 degrees. That would enable additional visual inspection of the area where the coolant link occurred. Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, said a preliminary look at the imagery of the Progress cargo ship reveals no visible damage. The damaged Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft, meanwhile, is set to be replaced by a new Soyuz crew ferry ship that could launch from the Bakanor Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on February 24, 2023. Unlike other Soyuz MS missions, this one does not aim to bring new cosmonauts to the ISS, but to replace the Soyuz MS-22 that suffered a thermal control system leak at the ISS on December 15, 2022. Roscosmos will launch this mission using a Soyuz MS spacecraft atop a Soyuz 2.1A launch vehicle from Launch Complex 31-6 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Initially, the launch was scheduled for February 20th. However, after depressurization of the thermal control system of the Progress MS-21 spacecraft, which took place February 11th at the ISS, Roscosmos took time to analyze the telemetric information and images from the outer surface of the spacecraft. They also inspected in detail the radiator on the Soyuz MS-23 and did not find any damage to it. The main goal of the Soyuz MS-23 mission is just to replace the MS-22 spacecraft that launched September 21st, 
2022, that with Sergei Propiev, he was the commander, Dmitry Patelin, flight engineer, and Francisco Rubio, who was also a flight engineer. They all three were aboard, but this was damaged at the ISS. And the version of technical damage to the spacecraft during the manufacturing process has not been confirmed. According to Sergei Krikalev, he's the executive director for human spaceflight at Roscosmos. The issue occurred in the cooling system due to an object of less than one millimeter puncturing a hole in the external cooling loop of the spacecraft. The diameter of the hole is less than one millimeter. It cannot be determined whether this was a micrometeoroid or a small piece of orbital debris. So therefore, the crew that would have flown in the damaged Soyuz MS-22 vehicle will now use the Soyuz MS-23 instead. There will be no cosmonauts on board that Soyuz MS-23 when it launches. Instead, it will bring 429 kilograms of supplies that's needed for the current crew that's at the ISS. Therefore, the Soyuz MS will play a role of a Progress MS spacecraft. Among this cargo is equipment for medical examination, station cleaning, air purity, and composition control, and water supply. Moreover, the mission would bring material and instruments for several experiments, including Interaction 2, Matreshka R, Cardio Vector, MSK2, Cascade, Fagan, and Probiovit. The uncrewed spacecraft will also deliver some replacement equipment for the systems of the Russian segment, landing and maintenance equipment, means of support for the crew, supplies for preventing adverse effects of weightlessness, sanitary hygienic products, and containers with food rations. Notably, only two days later, NASA's Crew-6 will also launch to the ISS. It will have four astronauts on board a Crew Dragon spacecraft atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Strapping inside the Dragon will be one of NASA's most diverse crews yet. NASA astronauts Stephen Boeing and Woody Hoberg, along with United Arab Emirates astronaut Sultan Al Nayadi and Russian cosmonaut Andrei Fedeyev. They're set to blast off from NASA's historic launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on the SpaceX Dragon Endeavor, which will mark the fourth flight for this vehicle. As the veteran of the group, Bowen is set to be the mission's commander. During a news briefing, he said the crew was going to be busy with all sorts of visiting vehicles during their six-month science mission. Shortly after we get to the space station, SpaceX 27 is going to arrive with a full complement of science, and usually when SpaceX vehicles get to the space station, it's 30 days of continuous work, Bowen said. Adding that another cargo flight, NG-19, will be right on SpaceX's heels, followed by two different crewed vehicles and another cargo flight in the summer. Fedeyev, who was originally set to fly on a Soyuz before NASA and Roscosmos completed a seat swap agreement, was asked how the SpaceX Dragon compares to the Russian Soyuz. He said, quote, you really can't compare them as they were designed 50 to 60 years apart, but it's more like comparing a small one-bedroom studio and two smaller rooms. The crew was also asked about the possibility of MMOD impacts, that's micrometeorite and orbital debris, like the recent incident with the Soyuz MS-22 vehicle. Officials at both NASA and SpaceX said they had reinforced the Dragon crew capsule with extra shielding and that would be in hopes of preventing any potential coolant leak from orbital debris strikes like the recent micrometeorite that struck the Russian Soyuz currently parked at the ISS. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget to share your ideas in the comments section down below. Your support motivates us to create more quality video, and for that we thank you so much and hope to see you next time.